Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Right now, I want to talk to you about the git clone branch command. And there's a couple of manifestations of this, and I'm going to take you through both of them. One, cloning a specific branch, and the other, cloning, but checking out a specific branch. So I've got a little GitLab project here. I'll take a look at it. It follows a basic Git flow type of methodology. So there's a master branch, a develop branch, a release branch, and a hotfix branch. And if you take a look at the master branch, one thing that differentiates it is it's got a file in here called master.html. You can see it there. And then I've also got the develop branch, and you can differentiate that because you can see that's got a file called develop.html. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to clone this using the branch option. Now, when people talk about cloning a Git repository with branch, they usually mean one of two things, and they're not always specific about it. One is they want to clone the repository and part of the clone checking out a particular branch, or they only want to clone one branch. Um, I'm going to show both examples here. Now, a lot of times if you're doing continuous integration, when you do a clone, because when you do a clone, it automatically checks out master. If you're doing this continuous integration, you probably want to clone your repository, but check out the development branch, right? Because you want to be compiling that. And then maybe after the compilation and continuous integration routine is successful, then maybe you, you push into the master. So that's not an unusual request. So I'm going to clone this repository. In, in order to do that, I need the clone URL. There's the HTTP URL to clone it. I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to issue the git clone command. Click paste for the URL, but I'm going to use the branch option and I'm going to specifically say only pull in development, or sorry, develop. That's what the name of the branch is. Glad I didn't put in development there. And so now when this clones the branch, it's going to clone everything, but only the develop branch is going to be checked out. So I'm going to click enter there. Once the username, all of a sudden it does the cloning. We'll take a look. You can see that GitLab made easy folder right there. I'll CD into it. And when I do the ls command, you'll notice that I don't have the master.html file, which is in the master branch. I've got the develop.html. If I do a git status, it'll say, hey, you're on branch develop. So there you go. I've actually gone in. I've cloned the repository. I've used the branch switch. And it's checked out the branch that I've specified rather than checking out master. Now, I do have all of the branches. So if I do git branch all, you can see that I've got the develop branch and I've got remote references to hotfix master release. And I can always do a git checkout and I don't know, check out master. Why not? And there you see I've got the master.html file. And I've also got um, status tells me I'm on the master branch. Okay, so that's sort of part one. Now let me. Get out of here, do my ls command, remove. Okay, remove the GitLab made easy folder. Now I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to be exactly the same, except it's going to be different. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to issue that branch command, but I'm also going to just use the single branch option. So let me go through my command history here. There we go. There's the git clone command. And we've got that dash branch develop. But now I just want to clone only that branch. So I'm going to say git clone double dash single dash branch branch develop and from the same repository. I'm going to click enter ask for my credentials. All of a sudden it's brought down, enumerating 14 objects done, looks interesting. If I do the git status command, we'll see that um, I'm not on the repository because I didn't move into it. I always forget to do that. Okay, let me get in there. Okay, 
here I'm in uh, I'm in the folder. Uh, I've got the develop.html file there, so I am in the develop branch, so that worked. But now let's do that same git uh, branch all command. Uh, you notice that we didn't clone the other repository, so we don't have that release branch and we don't have that master branch. Uh, what's the other one? Git flow, I forgot git flow release. Oh, and the hotfix branch. So there you go. So so that kind of shows you the two different angles of using branch. A lot of times people are like, uh, you know, I want to use git, uh, git init branch. And it's like, well, do you want just the branch or do you just want that branch checked out? And that sort of shows you the difference between the two of them. And there you go. Those are the ins and outs of the git clone branch option. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I got lots of more tutorials on Git, GitLab, GitHub, and anything to do with the server side and server side development. That might be agile methodologies, microservices, you name it. Anyways, and uh, if you want to keep up to date on my antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC.